that's now defined specific latent heat of vaporization. Well, same kind of definition. We will represent the latent heat of vaporization by L sub V. L sub V. What is the definition? It is a measure of the amount of heat absorbed or liberated by one kilogram of a substance at the boiling point to convert from liquid to vapor that is latent heat is absorbed or from vapor to liquid latent heat is liberated. All right. Now for water, again look at this tremendous amount of energy that is required to convert one kilogram of water to steam without a change in temperature. 2,257 kilojoules per kilogram. And that is 2.26 times 10 to the 6 joules per kilogram over 2 million joules of heat energy are required to convert one kilogram of water at 100 degrees Celsius to steam at the same temperature without changing the temperature. This is a tremendous amount of energy. You know, this is the reason why Earth has such an abundant supply of water. Now imagine if the latent heat of vaporization of water were very small, will there be any water left on the surface of the earth? No. So what do we owe our lives to? To this quantity. Because if this were a small number, well, we will not be able to live on the surface of the earth. So we owe our life to this very high latent heat of vaporization of water. So you better remember that number. The amount of heat Q required to convert M kilogram of a solid at its melting point to liquid at the same temperature. You see, latent heat is the amount of energy needed to convert one kilogram from solid to liquid. If I have m kilogram, what is the total amount of heat that you need? The total amount of heat Q equal to mass multiplied by latent heat of fusion. If you want to convert m kilogram of ice at its melting point to water at the same temperature, you need mass times the latent heat of fusion. That many joules of energy. Similarly, if you want to convert m kilogram of a liquid at its boiling point to vapor at the same temperature, what is the quantity of heat that you need to supply to it? It will be Q equal to mass times latent heat of vaporization. So, I want you to remember these three formulae. First of all, specific heat. Specific heat involves a change in temperature. Specific heat is measured in joules per kilogram per Kelvin. It involves a change in temperature. The quantity of heat required to increase the temperature of m kilogram of a substance is mass times specific heat times change in temperature. Alright? So when there is a change in temperature, you always use the specific heat. When there is no change in temperature, you use the latent heat. The quantity of heat required to convert m kilogram of a solid at its melting point to liquid at the same temperature is mass times latent heat of fusion. Similarly, the quantity of heat Q required to convert m kilogram of a liquid to, at its boiling point, to vapor at the same temperature is mass times latent heat of vaporization. We will now use these to do problems. Now, let me give you a table of values of latent heat of fusion 
and latent heat of vaporization of some common substances. Now, the latent heat of fusion of water, you remember the, the value I gave you, is 3.34 times 10 to the 5 joules per kilogram. And the, the latent heat of vaporization of water is 2.26 times 10 to the 6 joules per kilogram. We will be using some of these values as we go on in solving problems. All right. Let's now practice. Take